Do you have ADHD? Um, I think I have attention nice. deficit. Not oh, adults, it's ADD, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. Adults can also have ADHD. It's attention deficit and hyperactivity de- deficit. I don't think I have hyperactivity. I think I have attention deficit. Mm. Disorder. Don't forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Wally Borelli Show. Um, guys, it's been a while since we've recorded, and we're sorry. You know, mm. we didn't mean it. It's just, nah, nah. And life got in the school way. got in the way. Life got in the way. Amen. We what 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 what, what, what what actually happened? We, yeah, we we did shoot. We had like a lot of episodes. Yeah, we lost the audio. Somebody. Yeah. Lost the audio. Yeah. Not naming any names. But yeah. all you know that they're not here. Yeah, they're not mm. here. Yeah. And they're always here and they're very outspoken. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so. That seems kind of direct. We lost the audio. <laughs> so, yeah, that sucks. And, yeah. For series, gone. Mm. Which well, sucks. Gone, like. Is that not, a, not like he's like not a part of the pod anymore or anything, but. He moved. He's not with us anymore. Nah. That's <laughs> <what he decided. laughs> also, um, I got, we gotta address dude. this whole consistency thing he did. What? Are we like we can't. Yeah, sorry. Okay. This is me just venting. My fault. Nah, vent, bro. Let let, let the fans let know. Ah, we can't. We can't promise them consistency. Personally, mm. we can promise them what we can do I think, as much as we can. You know what? I think we should promise them. We should promise them content but that the content won't always be on youtube and it won't always be like pods i think maybe we can because sometimes if you know like 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 you said the other day if all of us in pretoria we can like do a little something or we can like post more frequently on our our instagram if like any of us are together maybe yeah but we can't promise the edited you know youtube videos full form videos because time is just yeah. Not yeah. on our side. Not on our side at all. Uh, yeah, Tank and uh, no, what do you guys think about like kinda switching up the content a bit? Yeah. Okay. Switching, switching it up. Like not That's okay, right. I'm saying this specifically in terms of not always doing a podcast. I look back at like that one vlog that we did when we went to like main lane and stuff. That was pretty that was pretty dope. Right? And it wasn't something that was like one hundred percent planned. I'm saying in terms of like what we were going to do, this, I'm that, sure. and the third. It was just like cameras recording, us just being us. us. So like more of those. I don't know if y'all will fuck with those or not. No, it's cool. I saw this. I saw. I saw this tweet the other day. I want to talk about it actually. Um. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Of course, I can't find it now. All right, so the tweet, right, by Nandi, at Paul Nandi on Twitter. 80% of single guys are no longer interested in dating. They are not even trying. And I don't know, what what, what do you guys, what do you guys think about? Do you guys want me to read some of the 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 comments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this guy's like, Having peace of mind is more important than taking care of a broke individual who has no goals. Yeah. That sounds very specific. Fuck. Yeah. He's Bro. Someone that he's men are <laughs> men are tired of adopting entitled adults in the name of dating. The dating game is rigged. They want a man to depend on when they are broke, but when they have money, they want independence. Men are getting wise and saying two can play that game. Then this guy says a lot of people like this comment. Eighty percent of us really just trying to get our shit together. LMAO. Mm. Oh, yeah. this this one was quite um was quite interesting to me. Um, three times the effort for not even half the woman my grandfather had. Hard pass. Western culture has ruined the sexual marketplace. I think mm. like mm. I think he's onto something there. I won't lie. Sexual marketplace. Yeah, I don't know. The, the sexual marketplace one, not really. But I, th- I think that comments like onto something, genuinely. Facts. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it is. It would be intimidating for a guy to go into like the dating space right now. 
mm. knowing what it is that they expect mm -hmm. and knowing that I'm not really able to give that a hundred percent. I don't know if 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 that comment is a hundred percent true with everyone, true? but 100%. I have this one thing where I believe that girls do understand that we are all still students, you know, like at a certain extent, like if you know that I live at res and all of that, like, do you really expect like all this thing that you see on like social media? Do you really, you know, as a hand? Cause if it is like that, then obviously I'll be driven away as a guy. I'll, I'm not going to even make the effort. I think there was like an episode where we were like, you have to date within your means, right? Or look within your means. I think someone said, imagine you trying to get with Nathali. Facts. Do you know what I mean? So if, if you're a student, right? And let's say you're into those type of girls that are, you know, weave, makeup, baddies. those type of things, baddies. Mm -hmm. Be honest with yourself. Do you think you'll be able to upkeep? Because like, you can't, lifestyle. yeah, you can't go into a girl's life or like a guy's life vice versa mm. and then you get upset when they tell you what they're used to and then you're like oh no you're a gold digger using me you for your money of course i'm using you for money because that's what i've been using other guys for as well Short. so you can't be mm. surprised now and you're like oh you're such a gold digger i know what i am i know what i'm doing why are you acting surprised if you knew what you were getting into Short. that's do my you, thing do you guys think also like social media has put like certain expectations on yes. how relationships are supposed to look yes. like. Yes. And I feel like everyone on TikTok is trying to tell me how I'm supposed to be in, and like, in a relationship, in a relationship mm. and how I'm supposed to act. And, and, and mm. also like it like, takes away... Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it takes away from finding what works for the both of you. you know? I think also the... I'm gonna, like it's unsolicited advice right that you get on tiktok oh uh, if your man wanted to he would okay but if you look in reality <laughs> do you know what i mean Bro. like he wants so to he just he can't yeah Bro, that's what like, i'm saying what are his like, circumstances really to, he would. like what's supposed to rob a band like, like, <laughs> yeah genuinely, dude. like, like if on, you bro. look on tiktok <laughs> these doing? people want like will you be my girlfriend with a bedroom full of Balloons, balloons and stuff like that. But your man is on Netflix, for example. <laughs> you know, I can't expect now this guy to spend all his money on balloons and flowers and stuff like yeah. that because I want to be asked out like people on Twitter. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, if you want that lifestyle, go for people like that. Don't get upset when someone can't provide yeah. that for you and vice versa. Yeah. And it's like, also this, for me, unsolicited advice on TikTok, it's like, oh no your man should always want to be with you and if he doesn't want to be with you he hates you or you know things like that and it's like if you look in reality yeah. dude if you look into reality relationships are not like that like everyone's relationship is different and it's complex so i can't expect mm. now what works for your relationship to work for my relationship dude. that's not how it works all those videos that are like five signs he's not really in yeah you. like i know no. guys like okay yeah, like, what if he's just having a bad day <laughs> and also it's like it's like they're saying like all four billion men on the planet are the same so mm. this one's five signs are the same as this one's five signs it's like, not bro, which is not what like what but i will say that i really do think that women want to get cuffed like a lot of them yeah yeah i think Please so too elaborate. I yeah. say this because of how many times have you heard the story of a guy and a girl being in like in a situation ship or whatever, or yeah, they just having fun, whatever, going with the flow, as some would call yeah. it. And then a lot of the time you hear guys just saying that, ah, then she asked the question. You what know what I mean? You? Yeah. yeah what are we? You? you know what I mean? I think a lot of girls are trying to get cuffed and yeah, guys aren't trying to, cough and Why? to be honest okay to be honest i think it's not about wanting to be cuffed i feel like it's about knowing where is this going like mm. like where is this going like we're gonna start dating but is anything actually gonna come out of this or are we just mm. dating just for the f yeah just to say see like what does mm. this mean like are there certain things in my life that i should you know adjust mm. to you you know, to suit, mm. like, what, like, what is going on? I think that's why also just communicating intentions from the get-go is really important. Like, if I'm going to get with you, I'm going to be like, hey, you know what, I think you're cute. I'm not really looking for anything serious. If you're like, no, I'm looking for something serious, okay, let's go. 
are both ways. Because now, say if five years of yeah, if I get into a like a situation trip with you or like vice versa, and I promise you this and you promise me that, but then when it comes to actually fulfilling these promises, nothing is is gonna be fulfilled, mm-hmm. and then now we're gonna get upset. I think it's just important mm-hmm. to say like what is it is that you want. I think, I think sometimes you don't need words to know like what this is if guys just every time you guys just link (laughs) right (laughs) no like if if every time you guys just link right and it always ends up with you guys in bed or you guys just doing something sexual and then you guys just part ways i think a lot asking at the end like what so what is this and you're going to expect me to be on some, yeah, nah, I want you to be my hand and all of that. I don't really spend time with you like that. I think a lot of, um, I don't know if it's delusional or naive or something, but. Dululu babes. Dululu babes. You are Dululu. I think, like, girls genuinely will, like, always, a part of them will always believe that if a guy is, like, sleeping with them, it means, um, <clears throat> yeah, like, it means, like, Nah, this guy must like me or surely this guy won't just, you know, sleep with me and this is where it ends, right? And then that's exactly what happens. Like that, all the time, continuously. Oh. And I think another another thing I've noticed, right? I've seen a trend of like girls will talk about the type of guys they don't want but end up in the same situation, mm-hmm. like continuously. Like they like they'll say, you know, my my last guy was doing this and that, this and that, and then they get into a relationship, and this new guy is doing like the same thing. Mm. Like, in regards to that, familiarity is comfortable. So you may try to avoid, you know, the whole situation, but unfortunately, you're gonna end up in that same situation again, and you're gonna get upset. You're gonna break up with this guy, but if how do I say this? Okay, let me take for example a girl who really likes words of affirmation Mm. you're gonna meet a guy who love bombs you right and love bombing is like i love you i want to be with you you're everything to me Mm. you guys are gonna get together love bombing does not last very long it's very short-lived then after that he's gonna start showing his true colors you're gonna get upset you're gonna break up with him you're gonna meet another guy who love bombs you again and it's like continuously the same cycle and then in regards to you when you said that if you are like with a girl and you guys just do sexual things and then that's it you need to know that some men out there are wicked right they will take you out they will cuddle you they will release all their secrets to you they'll be comfortable with you but still say nah dude we're not that serious so it's not that deep (laughs) so you need to know that a guy or a girl could literally show you that yo i want you they could take you out they could happy birthday plan everything for you but then when it comes to actually settling down yeah. and doing something serious they're like yeah. wow i'm all right i'm good you can ask what 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 do you guys think about uh, that that one comment where he says you know i'm i'm working so hard for not even half the woman like my grandfather had like women from back then what they kind of you know the the qualities they had and whatnot versus women today and and that oh i think times have changed obviously as we can see stuff that are considered that were considered taboo back then are considered very normal in this day and age so i mean it's very difficult to find someone who has been raised with the principles Mm -hmm. of traditionalism Mm -hmm. and, you know, Mm. the roots of being a woman. Do you understand? I don't Mm. know if I'm using the correct words. Especially in this time and age. Yeah. Mm. I think it's very easy to get caught up with what's, you know, what's accepted now. Because I feel like as soon as you revert back to the traditionalism and you know the the origin you're kind of i don't want to say shamed but you're seen as why are you doing that mm. why are you so different from yeah. us though? why are you trying to be why are you I, yeah why are you trying to get what's this like male gaze no 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 that's male no. validation yeah i right. think it also 
Oshabakai, like, where are you looking yeah. for these women? Yeah. Like, for example, if you want a really traditional woman who will kneel down and give you your food, a bowl to wash your hand, go to KZN. You'll most likely find them as compared to here. And that's the truth. <laughs> or like, go to Lesotho or something like that, where majority of the women yeah. and men are still very traditional, where the culture is still very traditional. And it's still you very can't rich. expect to come to, for example, Joburg. Right. Yeah. If you think about draw work, you think about city slay girls. queens, city girls, Baddies. short dresses, people who will eat Mileage. like Hi. okay. People who eat like um takeout and Mileage have no problem with that. Wow. That's crazy. Five hundred. <laughs> yes. no, like, no, like, like, yeah, you can't come to Joburg and expect <coughs> that type of woman. I mean, like sure, I'm sure there are some people like that, but you can't come here and expect Oh, I want a traditional woman in Jobra. Come on. Right. What can we, what can you, um, like, equate a traditional woman to, like, one of the women that we have now? So, like I'm saying, uh, a woman that would be considered, like, a wife in, in KZN? Mm-hmm. Amen. Hey, man. Oh, sorry. But I just wanted to say sorry about that. I feel like. I feel like you yeah. can still get a modern right. woman. So Hold on. She's like, sorry to cut you off, but I'm going to continue cutting <laughs> you off. I feel like you still can get a, a modern woman, but still very in touch with... Traditional. Yeah. yeah. For me... I, n- I understand. Yeah, sorry, finish, yeah. So, like, yeah, no, no, what, okay. Basically, I think you guys just, ba- like, y'all get the point. But I'm saying, if, if in case it in, they look for a woman who kneels down, serves you food, blah, 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 that's her wife. What would be our criteria for a wife here me, in the city? Me, yeah, like oh, in the city, oh. me when in this I day think, and age. Sorry, when I think like the tradition thing, I don't even think it's like that deep as kneeling down. and Because even like, I don't even think, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, like our parents did stuff like that. Like, oh, kneeling down and stuff. I'm thinking I've as seen that shit, like bro. more, really. I've, I've, I've seen my friends, I'm not going to out him, my friend's mother kneel boy like literally go on her side and greet my grandfather when she walked into the house wow. dead ass she but came to come pick me up yes yeah, yeah. so i'm saying like maybe i think what was she then oh. yeah, probably probably yeah, 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 yeah so for me it's 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 like some <laughs> some things it's like just oh, she. <laughs> the 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 bare minimum things bro like um mm. no women back then it was like you know like the whole generals thing was still very alive it was like okay so the guy you know, will be a provider, right? So he needs to make sure like he's got everything together. He's got money to support, you know, the wife, whatever she needs, etc. right? Mm. The provider. And the woman in turn would be, you know, the more caring. So, you know, um, caring, of course, cooking, um, cleaning, I guess. Um, Obviously things like that are not as big these days, especially like the whole cleaning thing. There's a lot of ways to get around that thing, you know? (laughs) Um, but yeah, like the whole cooking thing, being a family woman, and then also the whole, like back then, um, being a virgin was like a very big thing, like yeah. as a woman. Where So I think that's what like they mean now, because yeah. yeah. these days it's like women are looking for that same guy to still be, you know, a provider mm-hmm. to work. Like I don't want, like, I want my nails done, hair done, I want to be able to go with my friends and I want all of that paid for. Mm. But she's coming here. The mileage on that is like Crazy. out the roof, bro. You know what I mean? It's like paying. It's like you're paying like so much. You're paying like two million for like a 1990s Toyota Corolla. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's I get so. It. I think that's that's more what 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 I think. So for me, like I don't like the whole modern traditional thing. It's not even a whole getting on your knees. Like I think all of that is much. But like simple things, bro. Like serving um, you like a glass of of beverage on a saucer nah bro not even like bro i can like i, I can want do, that shit, like boy. i can like i can get my own drinks i can cook for myself but it would be nice to say you know like me i go to like i work hard and i work hard to you know to like have my woman get whatever she wants she's gonna like, be appreciated in the stuff mm. that she does yeah like bro like i'll get her like whatever she wants like i want to treat her like a princess bro 100 percent. but at the same time it's also like you know i appreciate yeah like mm. you know cook or whatever and i think a lot of women like 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 we were speaking about it earlier i think now was right when she said when a woman uh really like war, like loves you whatever she'll want to be submissive and it like cooking for you and all of that stuff will come naturally it will come naturally right. bro and i think i think that's 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 a lot of 
that yeah that that's what i think of as you know the modern um, nah, I feel you. what would you guys say to the whole thing of like a lot of guys don't want to cough because they have been in situations where like they were the side nigga whoa so they know what the dating game is like i think there's a lot of trauma in the dating realm as well yeah maybe. like a lot of guys are just scared of what could happen or other niggas or you know istina things like that bro because, i think because we live in like a very different world from back because back then it was like everyone who's in their 20s like is on the same level shot like yeah like you know there's a, that few royalty maybe things like that that are like you know in the upper yeah. like, echelon but all of us are really, now it's like you're 20 like and you're like one of my friends was yeah, telling wow. me he went to some car show no, man. <laughs> he went to some car show and there was some 21 year old day he said he got he, uh, he had his mclaren they said he got it for his birthday and, you know things like yeah so it's things like that where now we're all in the same age but like life is different okay. for all of us so no, now you crazy. like i think no, a lot of people have trauma insane, of dude. being scared of McLaren. having their woman taken <laughs> because they know that if you're being realistic um if you can do so and so for your girl but this guy can do so much more that obviously your girl wants it's kind of like now you're you're just banking on you know, i hope my girl doesn't leave me and i mm -hmm. think a lot of guys are afraid of taking that risk of Wow, now nah, Michael won't leave me even if so and so shows up or whatever. I think despite everything that happens, like being your girlfriend being taken away from you, being the side guy, I think the bravest thing that you can do is heal from that and go back into the game. I think the best thing you can For do me, as a man is like back yourself, bro. Like I think that's the most important thing. If if like if looking at another dude and you're like, nah, this guy's money, um, my girl but if you know what you're working towards and you're like genuine like believe in yourself and trust yourself then mm. things like that won't bother you because in the long run because if your girl loves you for how you treat her and whatnot um the only thing that could enhance your relationship i guess is the money but her ending up with another dude may have the money mm. but now it's the not the is, yeah it's yeah. not it's, it's not the same so what happens now when we're all grown and now i'm also up and now I'm treating another woman better better with the same love I was treating, you know, the previous yeah. woman. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. And I respect that guy who said um, he's just in the comments. He was like, 80% of us are just focusing on our own stuff. Yeah, just like just trying we're just to trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, like yeah and I, I get that. Yeah. Really I think a lot, of, a, a lot of guys are also scared of, because as much as, you know, people won't like to mention it or whatever, like, it does play a factor to a certain extent, like uh, the whole money thing in a relationship. Obviously, it doesn't have to play like a big role. And there's two sides to the coin also, because there's, there's the thing of, um, you know, get with her now and, you know, build with her. Um, then, you know, like she's with you because, you know, you know she's, she's been down with you the whole time. She believes in you. She wants all that good stuff, but she's with you because she knows like my man's going to get there and we'll be good. Or be single whatever focus on yourself then when you're up you decide to get in yeah there. and then I think, at that point you don't know now she wants you for the money or she wants you for you yeah kind of i think we also overlook the fact that a lot of guys maybe us gents don't want to be into like in a relationship like i don't want to say it's like be with you like you don't want to be in a relationship where you can't provide those things or what yeah like as much as a relationship is not always about that pride Yes. Pride, yeah, it's a pride. Like me knowing that I can't fulfill a role is also like, mm -hmm. is it called emasculating? Emasculating, right? It makes yeah, it's ca yeah, it kind of, yeah, it makes me feel hella small. Right, mm -hmm. that, right, my English lately, no, right. angle, like, yeah, it's okay, yeah, but it's not, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, so even that, me, I wouldn't put myself in a position where I know I'm going to feel little. I'm going to feel like, oh boy like you're not doing enough chief like pick up your socks and i know that i can't dude yeah you know what i mean but anyway just to um on the topic of like relationships i want to take it to girls right what do you guys feel about the whole statement that like hatfield has like the champion hose hatfield has a label on it right and 
everybody knows this label and now when you get there you're expecting to see that and i feel like if you tell yourself you expect to see that that's what you're gonna see i think i think that's just what it is swear yeah i nah. just feel like if you um, i hear her to a certain extent though. yeah because i'm telling you. it's kind of like a placebo, placebo. effect yeah. right mm. i'm telling myself oh okay let me okay let me take myself for example when i got to pta in first year i told myself listen i'm not getting into a relationship because the men here are whores and this that and the third now look at me do you mm. know what i mean and it's like <laughs> that's what i feel that's what i was telling myself in matric like if i get into pta okay i'm getting into pta i'm not gonna date anyone i'm not gonna do anything like that and here i am two years down the line yeah but like i also you know? went i went to hadfield and i was like yeah now i know i'm gonna see a beautiful woman and here i am and i see be- beautiful woman yeah I, I think you see what you want to see i saw the and i was like oh f- no but then but you grew to change and saw the reality right you see, like the other side, that there are some good men. Yeah, not it's, everyone's. A, yeah, it's it's not it's not like everyone's. A, it's like there are those champion league. You know, nah. but then it's Crazy. like not everyone Horses, is. A, it's like, it's like me trying yeah. to get with the guy as a DJ and expect him to be loyal. That's stupid of me. What did she say? That's true. That's a bit. What did she say? No, I'm not. A, a no, I'm talking about Zion Zoo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so I totally. Uh, Sh- Sh- Shamsin, what do you have to say about that? My apologies. Oh, my apologies. Cause, cause my apologies. I know, cause I know you be behind the decks. I d- I, I I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, so guys. What, what do you have to say about this? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Mister M- Mister Mister DJ. Yeah. I was, I, was talking, I, was in fire sorry, night. I was talking about like when I was in matric, like DJs in first year. Real. Sorry, mm. guys. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Real. Like the club nah. hosters and everything like nah, that. That makes sense. Nah. Sorry, you're, you're, guys. You're, you're a DJ in second year now. So yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. Young taller. Uh, so. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Now nah, you got this, mate. Sorry. Nah. Yo. There's no personal shots. I apologize. Yeah, nah, Look, guys, I, I want you guys to do, like, take your hand. Just take your hand. Uh, Lana. Put it, like, over here. Since I'm a and sacrifice, I'm a ritual. And man. just say. Oh. Pat myself on the back. It's going to be okay. I don't know. We're all doing that okay. for you in solidarity. Oh, <laughs> she literally. <laughs> yeah, nah. nah it that sounded, was sounded, that was yeah. not a personal attack. I'm like sorry. A, yeah. <laughs> sorry, it was not a personal attack. Anyways, but anyways. I was like making an example because when people when you go to PCA, they're like, no, stay away from the third year, stay away from the honest guys, stay away from club promoters. You know, they tell you all these things to stay away from. And now when it's you everyone. get <laughs> yeah, when you get there, you're like, this is all I see. Like, am I supposed to stay away from everyone? Yeah, but, no. Like. Here I am oh, yeah. two years down the line. So like me yeah. is a relationship like do you guys um do you think keeping a relationship to yourselves, like the parties in the relationship private, mm-hmm. do you think keeping it, you know, very intimate mm. uh, aids to the success of yeah. that relationship? Okay, One, me I don't think I think same. it it like depends person to person. Personally me, I think so. I think when I keep things to myself, like sometimes even if I, I don't know, go out with my girlfriend or something happened, I just, it happens between us. We have a good time. We do whatever we do and we keep it pushing, bro. Yeah. Like, not everyone has to know Guti. We when went I, to. When hey. you're here, when are you doing this now, when are you thinking? Because I feel like also there's there's a lot of, um, like, bad eyes around there. Like some people just have ill intent for you and stuff yeah. like me i think i'm like because i'm almost like that about my life in general i don't like telling people about certain things that happen or anything because one i feel like nobody has to know because who really cares you know i don't think much people really care like yeah. that about you anyways so yeah i think definitely like when you keep your relationship to yourself no, yeah. oh i think it's important to differentiate between private and secret right it's People oh. should know that you're in a relationship, but people shouldn't know your business. Mm. Okay. That's that's my thing. Like, you know, you don't have to post your babe's face if you don't want to, but like right. post a hand here and there or like a foot here and there. If you want to, you can <laughs> post their face, it's fine. Or like a shoe, how? Or like you can post their face, that's fine. But I think it's just Amandala. important not to let everyone know, Hore. Oh, okay, I really got spec, I didn't know, I didn't really yeah, need bro, like, And then after that, we went to Carnival City and I... And yeah. then he kissed me on my cheek. Uh, I yeah, like, that's my thing. Like, post, posting your partner is like one thing. It's not that deep or whatever. Yeah. But now, like your every move, like people must know that 
uh, okay, we went on vacation. Okay, um, we went this. Uh, okay, now the vacation one, I feel like that's a different. That's, that's a different one. Yeah, mm. I mean. But like don't when post I, your when every move. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you I'm just saying post like, like behind, like yeah, like no, the, the, the sea is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. normal because that's like just like normally posting your partner. It's just now you guys yeah. are on vacation. But I mean, like, okay, guys, me and Ting are we going went to now. Barbados. We're going to this. We saw Rihanna's house. Okay. You see, like that, like Huri, now everything, like the public is like, kind like you're trolling with. It's like a community relationship mm. now. Like you troll like how fail. You know what I mean? So how do you guys feel about couples pages then? Uh, yeah, like uh, it's me, me and my man, and this is Mister and Mrs. Yeah, what, dude, what, what, those what. guys are making a bag, so yeah. But like, besides the bag, how do you feel it about puts like, a lot of pressure? It's pressure. Yeah, yeah I was about to say it's pressure. Okay, wait, like observing it or me being in it. Like the idea as a whole, pretty much. Yeah, the, the like, would you open one? Do you like? Do you enjoy that? Like the whole idea. I think it's it's cool mm. because it's it's practically you're saying like YouTube, social media, yeah. especially right. I think everyone, like, we enjoy some form of reality TV or reality entertainment. So if you're going to provide that, right? Because there's a couple of couples that I see on TikTok. I will... Couple of couples. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I will see, like, I will watch their videos from start to finish. Not because of the love, no. But because of, like, the content idea that they have. And just the way that they are with each other. Like, the dynamic is pretty entertaining to see. Like, mm. there's one of them where... This girl will literally grab this guy by his shirt, you know, if he answers wrong. It's kind of funny because it's like, obviously, in real life, he's not going to say that for real. But like it being like a skit or whatever it is, like it's it's dope. So and in itself, it's OK. But don't be I'm not going to watch a vlog of you guys going somewhere. Yeah, nah. I was about to say, like, I think like channels like that are, are, are nice if it's something you know you both like doing if you're both like like being in that scene social media like entertaining then it's cool like you guys do but it's not like now you guys are going through a fight or something deep and now i hate that you're posting about it that. and you're like hey that. guys we're going through this now it's like a bit weird but if it's like you know you're vlogging you guys are just having fun or you're cooking together small things like that like I hate, I hate cute that. things yeah. it's different Boy, seeing a fight and then like you see the one lady's like nah i'm very frustrated because he did this and i know that i have to go t- to him and go and apologize yeah, later and, like, and then you see like the search like there by the comments by the search i don't know what it's called the blue the blue comment yeah the blue comment mm-hmm. is like nah the husband's pov are you both you, fighting on tiktok like that's my thing bro oh, like, like what the hell whole relationship so now we're gonna look at both sides I saw something there, like that yesterday, actually. Because, f- like, the couple's TikTok, like like you were saying, when it's, like, you know, they're doing funny things or they're just chilling, like, things like that. I think that's okay. Like, that's fine. That's dope. Like, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. But now, when you guys are there posting deep content, like, things that you should probably be keeping to, to yourselves yourself. and sorting out. It's, like, actual relationship. Because now it's almost like you guys are playing some game here where Simulator. you play. Yeah, bro. Because now, when it's, like, deep stuff, this is, like, you guys should it should be like okay we have you to talk about this yeah you guys should be sitting this. down it's like something if you actually care about the relationship like it's not something mm-hmm. you just speak about publicly like that yeah but yeah so i guess we all have our like different views on why 80 percent of what men on, are not dating yeah i think i think men men are just trying to get the bread up bro yeah, yeah. like a lot of people are just trying to get their bread up yeah. Yeah. But which is which is valid eh it is valid. Which is valid. Is valid. Like, yeah. 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 Anyways. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, guys, mm-hmm. stay tuned. Like, honestly, stay tuned. Yeah, and also check <laughs> out, like, check check out the Instagram. Mm-hmm. I think we'll have, uh, like, put more stuff there as well. I bet. Yeah. Check out the Instagram. Yeah, we'll be dropping stuff there. And I bet. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Anyways. Jesus. Check Toodles. Yo. So we're driving this episode tomorrow, baby. Yo, and fucked now. up. Nah. I went by the end of the week. I went. Bro. Yo, welcome back to the Bloody Bereli. Now I'm to start from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Have the camera's been rolling? Yeah. Yeah. This whole time. Nice first Hey guys, welcome back. Now. Hey guys, yeah. welcome to the show and stuff. <laughs> Why are you being so sad, bro? Hey guys, welcome back to the show. It's been a while and. We just like to say, we're sorry. I mean, you must put that sound like, oh. It's been a while, and 
We just like to say, we're sorry. Aww. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Woo! <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the episodes of Just Trying to Survive. Oh. <laughs> No, Oshap. Bro, like what actually happened? Are you okay? Hey guys, welcome back to. Nah, this is the last time. I promise. Right? You don't have to promise. Yeah, don't do nah, that. I, right? uh, like, I take just, promises just, very seriously. Do what you better do. Hmm, pinky. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's a commitment. That's a commitment right there. No, nah, I think he can. I think she cancelled it. Yeah, no, 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 no,